this man Vinicius Jr. man went from an absolute meme to a superstar to a superstar and that's nobody can argue about that he is a superstar at the moment and what a player this guy is he is so good man and this season without him Real Madrid would not have won the Champions League like we would not have won the Champions League without this guy I mean he was so influential in every single comeback I think especially that you know PSG one he was unbelievable um just the runs he would make it really opened up for Benzema to score those hat trick to score the hat trick in the game um but he was so good and this whole season he's been unbelievable I mean this is a if we were to award a most improved player this season in the whole calendar it would be Vinicius Jr. without a doubt or Joe Linton because Joe Linton had an unbelievable season in the Prem um, going from a striker a horrible striker by the way to an unbelievable midfielder like he's a really good midfielder now but our, I think Vinicius for sure takes that word and this is because of the perception everybody had of him everybody thought you know he's a meme he's just a you know paste merchant just a dribbler um, some people say that now as well which is crazy um, even I mean to have that you know skill set is crazy. Not every player in the world has a skill set. Vinici says even if he didn't have the finishing, which he does now. Even though it's not perfect right now, his finishing could be a lot better. But his finishing still very good. When you look at this in the beginning of his career, you know from Flamengo to Real Madrid, a lot of people talked about Vinicius finishing in Flamengo. A lot, especially from a lot of Flamengo fans, they would say his finishing was all right. It was good. It wasn't bad. Um, which is the reason I mean we, we signed him you know if we knew if we thought his finishing was that that bad we wouldn't have signed him um, but yeah his finishing was okay in the uh, Flamingo but when he came to Real Madrid his finishing was really bad I mean the first few seasons it was so so bad and like it would give me and a lot of other Real Madrid fans you know heart attacks bro when he was in front of goal I mean his finishing was horrible man it was horrible when we come to his first few Real Madrid seasons, to me, that was under Zidane, of course, and also under Lopetegui slash Solari. So Lopetegui, Lopetegui didn't use him at all, but Solari, to me, was a foundation. You know, he helped him become more, how do I say it? Vinicius had freedom in that Real Madrid team, 18-19. I mean, that Real Madrid team in 1890 was horrible. It was absolutely hor horrible, and when Vinicius came in from the academy, he, he played a few games there after he came up he was unbelievable and he was the only one who would really do something on this team especially the ice game i remember the first game he was great he was unbelievable um he was so good and so larry did help his development i would say um in the second season the 1920 season under zidane i think this is where he started to regress and of course the hazard signing didn't help either um hazard just came into the lineup straight away and Vinicius had to, you know, fight for his spot, which is understandable. But yeah, he was not good. And to me, I felt like he was just not good under Zidane as a whole. Um, maybe he just needed some years to develop, or maybe Zidane didn't give him the freedom. Because to me, Ancelotti has given him the freedom. He's given him a lot more of a freedom. But I think it's not only down to that. I think he just matured. This is his third season in La Liga. He's matured, man. He's matured. I mean, I think even with Zidane, I think he would have had a good season. But I think Ancelotti has allowed him to have that freedom, allowed him to have that link of play with Benzema, um, which has made him a monster. And, you know, 17 goals and 10 assists in La Liga. That's unbelievable stats. I mean, coming into the season, I don't think any Real Madrid fan ex expected that. I did. I mean, no, nah, I'm joking. I, I, I did. To be honest, I did. But I told a lot of Real Madrid fans to just, you know, you have to stay patient, man. You have to stay patient. Um, you can't just accept, accept, you know, you can't just expect these talent to just become unbelievable out of nowhere in their first season. It's really rare. I mean, Neymar did that for Barca when he came in from Santos. But not every talent is going to be like that. And I think you're seeing with Rodrigo now too. I think Rodrigo next season will have a pretty good season. Um, next season will be his third season, I believe, in La Liga. And this, has been, this is Vinicius' third season. So you have to give these you know young talent time. Um, I say, you know, even like in NBA terms, you look at all these, you know, NBA teams, they give talent time. They give them three to four years to see, what, you know, how they progress throughout the career. And if they're not good enough, they're getting traded. But yeah, I think football fans are too, you know, impatient 
with talent and I think Vinicius just you know just silent all the haters you know this season um he's been unbelievable and even the Champions League as I said he was the key factor towards that victory I mean four goals six assists you know that final goal you know in the finals honestly it's a very I don't know how to describe it it's very huge for his career that final goal um, is very huge for his career I mean you know he's gonna be Real Madrid legend for that alone so that's huge but also his love for the club he's about to sign an eight-year deal I believe um, it's huge that's huge I mean a lot of fans are definitely gonna love him and they already love him but yeah I mean Vinicius just went to another level and his stock went up incredibly this year and I'm pretty happy with that. I want to see what he does in the World Cup. That will be very interesting. I think I hope Ben I hope Brazil starts him. He he will probably start a front free of Vinicius, Neymar, and someone like Antoni or Rafinha. That is a unbelievable front free. That's a great front free. So and uh, uh Vinicius next season. I hope he becomes even like more clinical in front of goal because he definitely has that potential. Um, him and Benzema's link up has been unbelievable. I mean, we look back at his career. I mean, even this was only last season. Last season he was getting memed around. Benzema was just you know telling Mendy not to pass him. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Um, but he's unbelievable turned around and you know he has the best. You know what I I respect about Vinicius is, is his hard work. Like a lot of players, like I look at you know in the past, like players like Pato, Balotelli, these guys had unbe unbelievable talent, but they never put in the hard work. I don't know about Pato, but I know Balotelli just <laughs> for sure. He for sure did not put in the hard work, you know, like Vinicius has. And Vinicius, you know, in the off season, he put in a lot of hard work. He tried to improve his finishing a lot. I know he was doing finishing drills, even like the past two seasons. He's he's just been doing finishing drills on finishing drills. And he's become a you know competent um, finisher, and that's what I like about him. You know he's very hardworking. I know for sure. As soon as the season ends, he you know puts in that hard work and he tries to become better. Um, that's what I admire about him. And you know I don't think it's crazy to think he might have a better career than Neymar. Maybe that is crazy to say. Neymar has an unbelievable career, but I think towards when he becomes thirty or thirty-two, he might have more of a longevity. I will say. But yeah, I mean, the come up for him has been crazy, going from meme to succeeding and becoming a superstar. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and analysis of what Vinny has become and where he came from. You know, subscribe, you know, because these videos, you know, they come a lot. They could, I'll, I'll bring them every single day if I could. But yeah, subscribe for more football content and, content and see you.